Hi, this is a quick review of the Netgear uh, AC1900 model number C7000 um, modem and router combination. Uh, as you can see, it's rated for um, up to 960 megabits and uh, 24 down, 8 up cable channels, and uh, it has DOCSIS 3.0, and the reason you might want to buy this router is because uh, you have Xfinity like I do, and you have Gigabit, and you're paying $14 a month for the Xfinity, Xfinity XFi router, and uh, so within one year, uh, 14 times 12, you'll basically be paying for uh, what the cost of this is at Best Buy right now, which is around $160. So uh, let's put it to the test. Uh, so this is what the router looks like uh, from the back. Uh, so uh, down here you should be able to see the um, default Wi-Fi name and password. And basically, the way you set this up is you plug it in. Um, you might have to activate it with your cable company. And then you just join the Wi-Fi. And it'll ask you to set up an admin password and all that. OK, so I've set up the um, admin password. And this is what the interface looks like. Um, you go to routerlogin.net, and it'll tell you to, uh, again, create a password. Uh, and um, then you get sent to this configuration page. Oops. Um, we'll have to log in again. So I've just re-logged into the uh, Netgear uh, router. And just to show you what it looks like, um, the interface uh, it's kind of ugly, I'm going to say. It looks like it's from the 90s. It's kind of slow. If you use newer routers like uh, the Xfinity X5 Gateway, which I actually have, and I'll compare it with later uh, in, in this video, or the Google Wi-Fi router, um, or even the Apple Airport from uh, a few years back, they all have a lot nicer interfaces, and um, I'm a little surprised that this interface uh, looks so basic. But um, oops, um, um, but basically, uh, yeah, that's that's what you get. Um, and uh, now let's do a speed test and see what the speeds are. Okay, so now let's do a speed test. Uh, I just got a tripod out to stabilize my camera. Test. Dot net. Yeah, so it's going. So yeah, so keep in mind I have a gigabit connection from the cable company, and what we're testing is can the router handle that. And remember, it's rated for 960 megabits per second on the box. Um, well, basically, you can see that uh, it's not getting that. Um, in fact, this is actually worse than what I was getting with the Xfinity X5 gateway. In fact, so let me um, go ahead and switch my setup, and I will show you that. I'm back, and this time I've uh, set up my Xfinity X5 gateway again. Um, uh, same process, just plug in the wires, and then activate the um, internet again. OK, now let's do a new speed test. Um, again, this time we're using the Xfinity X5 gateway. Um, so yeah, you can see it's already beating the Netgear.
Yeah, so basically you can see it's done better than the neck here. So here's the neck here stuff on the other tab. Um, I guess it looks like the ping was a little bit better, but every otherwise, basically I was getting double, I'm, or I, I am getting double the uh, download speed and um, I guess almost six times the upload speed with the Xfinity X5 gateway. And um, on top of that, I'll just say the app is a little bit nicer. The way you set it up is with an app on your phone. Uh, I won't go into that, but it is nicer than the, than the Netgear inter interface. Um, so yeah, that's uh, a, little, a little disappointing. Um, here, let's put the Netgear back into view. It would be nice if uh, this $160 router could replace the current Xfinity one that I'm renting, but it looks like it can't. So that's unfortunate, but uh, um, now you know. All right, that's it.